Welcome guys, my name is Dave, I'm Drew Technologies, and today we're going to go ahead and reflash a Volkswagen vehicle using the Otis software. Uh, just a few things before we get started, uh, we've got to make sure that we've got a good power supply connected to the vehicle, turned on, plugged in, and make sure that no one's going to trip over the cables and disconnect anything. Uh, we've got our laptop that's got a, it's plugged into a wall power, uh, we've got a good steady internet connection, we've got our device plugged in working and communicating with the vehicle. So once we check those basics, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our reflash. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Otis application from the desktop icon. Uh, whenever the application's open, it's gonna look for updates. If you haven't ran it for a little while and you've got a vehicle to flash today, you may wanna open it uh, even maybe an hour or so early to make sure you've got time for those updates to get downloaded and installed before you go ahead and start using Otis. So when Otis first opens, one of the things it's going to bring up is a device selection screen. So you're going to want to select your interface that's connected to the PC and the vehicle from the menu. In this case, we're using our Mongoose VW. And we're going to go ahead and click select for that. And then we're going to get and click Escape on the warning note page. And we're going to let the application finish starting. All right, now that the application is opened up, we're gonna go ahead and check that we see the connection to the vehicle's been established. Uh, when using a J2534 interface, the switch, the ignition on is always gonna be noted uh, with a red X over the key. Uh, Otis doesn't have the capability to see key state through a J2534 interface. So this is something you'll get used to after a little bit. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and hit starting diagnosis. And after few seconds here it's going to go ahead and prompt us that it can't determine the key state. We're going to hit continue because we know the vehicle's keyed on. And now the, it's going to go ahead and start identifying the vehicle. And this can take a um, minute or so depending on the s speed of the computer as well as the speed of the vehicle bus. So in this case it was able to pull all the information except for the engine size and we're going to go ahead and choose the CCTA 2 liter and click apply and now I'm going to go ahead and log in. Alright, now Otis is going to go ahead and go through the uh, module identification. This can take anywhere from uh, a minute to several minutes depending on how many modules are equipped on the vehicle and then it will also go through a tra traversal test which can take a several minutes in and of itself. All right, guys, so one thing you may run into once all the tests have been performed is you might see a test plan come up for the digital satellite radio tuner or another radio module. Uh, this can come up if the uh, Sirius subscription has run out. So if you do see this, check with the customer. If they say, yeah, I never renewed that, that's what that test plan's for. So, you know, not, it's not something to you know, get too worried about. It's just, you know, a subscription ran out. So now we're going to go ahead and click on the Special Functions tab. And we've got about six different options here. And we're going to go ahead and click on the Adapting Software, which is uh, the middle option under Software Version Management. And we're going to go ahead and click on Perform Test. And now it's going to start collecting data from the vehicle. Alrighty, and so now from here we're going to go ahead and choose to do a software update via action code. And in this case, our action code is going to be 3C0C. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that on this screen, 3C0C. And we're going to go ahead and choose accept. And we're going to go back to collecting data from the module. And that can take anywhere from a minute to several minutes. Again, depending on all the same factors you mentioned before, PC speed, communication bus speed on the vehicle. Um, depending on which task you're performing on a vehicle, there's going to be varied action codes. So uh, just make sure that you, are, you do have the current one for that particular vehicle and that particular task when doing one of these processes. Okay, well, it's done pulling all the information and uh, now we're going to get put in our username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and choose continue here. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the login information once it's done sending the data. Okay, so because I used this software earlier, it actually still has all my information saved, so I do not have to enter it here. But normally, if this was the first time you'd run it for the day, you would need to enter your login information at that previous point. So we're going to go ahead and choose continue here. And 
now it is proceeding along. Alrighty, so now it's brought up the part numbers, our, the old part number currently on the ECU, and the new part number that we're going to go ahead and adapt up to. So we're going to go ahead and choose yes here. And it's going to go ahead and make sure that the that we're connected to the vehicle uh, with a hard hard line connection. We're going to uh, we're going we're going to double check to make sure that we, our power supply is connected and that it's running. We know it is, so we're going to go ahead and choose continue. And then I'm going to say from when I click continue here, the adaptation is going to get started. We cannot interrupt this process for anything; otherwise, it might be a new module. And now we're back to thinking. Okay, well, the flash has started, so now it's hang out and just keep an eye on things. So the reflash is finished. A uh, few things to note. During a reflash, uh, you can see various lights on the dash. They may come on or off as it's going. That's not a concern. Even when the flash ends, you may see the wipers actually cycle once. Every, that's all fine. The only thing you should be keep an eye out for, if you hear the coolant fan running, you may have a concern. Other than that, you should be good to go. So at this point, we finished updating the module, and we're going to go ahead and click continue. Now we're going to go ahead and key the vehicle off. And click continue. And we need to leave it off for about 30 seconds here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and key the vehicle back on. And click continue. And now it's going to go ahead and communicate with control modules again. This is about a 10 second process. So one thing, depending on the module you're working with, uh, there may be several parts to the update process, including uh, coding. So that's something we are going to go over today. Even some, in some rare cases, those process, there can be up to three or four processes in a reflashing event. Not very common, but it can happen. So we're going to go ahead and click continue here. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and begin the coding. Uh, it's seen that we've updated the module, and now we're going to go ahead and click yes. This process will involve a few key cycles, so you'll want to be, be attentive to both the PC and the vehicle at this time, uh, unlike the reflash where that you have a few minutes of downtime while the actual flash is occurring. So the coding was successful. We're going to go ahead and key the vehicle off and choose continue. We're going to leave that off for 30 seconds while it does its communication. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and key the vehicle back on and click continue. And we got another 10 seconds of module communication. Alrighty, so it says the data version on the vehicle is current, end of test, so we can click continue and we finished. And now, once this is done here, we'll go ahead and start her up just to make sure that everything's happy. Okay, starts and there's not a whole bunch of lights on, so we've done our, we've done the correct things. So at that point, that is doing a reflash using the Otis software and AJ2534 interface. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of the Otis software and call it good.